Hi everybody, I'm Amy and today I'm going to try over dyeing these four mini skeins of yarn. Each mini skein is uh, 20 grams and it's uh, Superwash Merino, uh, Tissue Silk and Silver Stellina. Now I'm going in dry with this. I'm doing a, a method called space dyeing. Now I've got these uh, dye solutions made up. I've got black, uh, pink, I made these almost a year ago, um, tur turquoise and green. Now I'm just going to pour them into different sections of the saucepan. Now there is no water in here. I'm hoping um, uh, I'm going to add enough water with this these dye solutions and so I'm just going to pour all of that pink on there. Let's rinse that out. Add a little bit of extra water. Okay. Now hopefully these dyes will pretty much stay where they are. Uh, they don't have too much crossover. So what have I got here? Green. There we go. And the last one, let's say, turquoise. I'm just going to pour that here. Right. Let's see. Just going to press that down a bit. Oh, yeah, there's plenty of dye in here and plenty of water in here. I don't need to add anything more or any more water. one tablespoon of vinegar and this vinegar helps to bind the um, to bind the dye to the yarn there we go and I'm just going to turn this on leave it on hope and bring it up to a, a simmer I'm just going to leave that for oh, I don't know it depends how long it's going to take it to get to a simmer I'm just going to leave it for maybe 20 minutes or so. By then everything should be nice and wet and well, we'll see what happens after 20 minutes. Okay, it's been about 20 minutes and there's still a fair bit of dye in here. So I'm just going to add a little bit more vinegar, a tiny bit more water because I don't want this to boil dry. And I've got another mini skein of dry yarn. This is the same yarn that's been that's in here. I'm just going to plop that in. Hopefully, it will absorb some of this dye that has yet to absorb to the yarn. There you go. Press that down. I'm going to leave this another 20 minutes, and then I'm just going to turn it off and let everything cool down. And here is our finished space dyed yarn. Now I can't really see the uh, green and the turquoise in here. Uh, it, it's mostly black with the odd specks of pink coming through here and here. Um, there's sort of pink, pinkish hues here and on this one. And then you've got the yarn mop here, which is a lovely gray and sort of dusty pink color. Uh, I think I definitely used far too much black in this, but I've never space dyed before. This was an experiment and it was a good opportunity to use up some dye solutions that uh, were nearly a year old. So it's not turned out exactly how I thought it would, but it's still some very pretty yarn with some sort of spots of pink and some slightly different shades of, of black here. Um, I do love how the, the dark brings out all the sparkle in the silver Stellina. And I think these could all work quite well together, uh, knitting maybe a hat or something, with just some little specks, specks of pink coming through. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please click like and subscribe to my YouTube channel. I aim to produce a new dyeing tutorial every Monday. I like to experiment with different yarn bases, different fabrics and... Um, different dyes and techniques uh, so 
every week there'll be something different to see. Thank you so much for watching.